So if you've never done stack printing before, you might be wondering what on earth that is. That's basically the ability of being able to print a whole bunch of prints on top of one another like this. Now it is got both pros and cons. Personally, I think they're mainly just pros, but there are some cons which I'll show you at the end of this. But for now, I wanna show you how to get it actually done because there are some print settings that you need to do. So this is a little test file you can get over at multiboard.io. And this is a little stack print of two teeny tiny one by one multiboard tiles that you can sort of use as a keyring. So what are the settings that you need for this? You're gonna go put this file into whatever slicer it is. You're gonna set the default settings that we use for multiboard, which is three wall perimeters, 15% infill. And then the key aspect here is that you're gonna do top, all top surface ironing on. So that means every single time it finish one print, it's gonna iron it and then it's gonna print on top. Now what it's gonna do, it's not actually printing on top. There is a small, 0.2 millimeter gap between one model and the other one, which means there are no supports in any files that have stacked printing like this, because if not, that would screw it all up. And hopefully, if all your settings are right, then it should just pull apart. Now this here is the little test file. Once you get it printed out, you can try and just pull it apart in case you're having a hard time pulling this file apart. I would suggest using a nail or a little screw. And what you're gonna do is just stick the screw in between the actual two prints. And then you're just gonna angle it up a little bit and it should pull apart. And then once it's pulled apart like that, you just grab it and you pull. And that is going to basically pull them apart nice and simply. That is exactly the same for really large stacks as well. So here's a small stack. Now I can just sort of go to one of these and try and pull and I'll be able to pull from here. But if I was having a hard time, I would get myself a screw, I would go to one, push up, go to the next one, push up, go to the next one, push up, and that would unstick it all the way around. But I know that my print settings are pretty spot on. So I could just go to one stack here, grab it and just pull. And there is that stack out. Now, what is the not so great benefit of this. Well, it's this here. Let me get one of the ones that are on the top surface. One side of it is gonna come out absolutely perfect. It's gonna come out nice and smooth. As you can see here, it truly is just coming out brilliantly. But the other side is gonna have a little bit of patterning on it. Now, it's not exactly a massive thing, especially if you're gonna have this up against a wall, you're not gonna be seeing one side of this anyway. But that there is how you do stack prints. Now we have a whole bunch of stack prints over at multiboard.io, but all the stack prints are for supporters. You can always just do this yourself, get the file, make sure it is that 0.2 millimeter offset. Keep in mind that all of these files that I do the stack prints on are specifically made for 0.2 millimeter layer printing. I haven't tested out on anything higher up, but do let me know down in the comments below if you think that is possible as well. All right, there you have it. Hope you enjoy it and keep making.